I'm Jean Ilsley Clark, and Nancy Gonzalez asked me to speak with you today about the research that Dr. David Bredehoff, Dr. Connie Dawson, and I have done on overindulgence and the impact of overindulging children upon their adult lives. Uh, the question is really what is overindulgence? Is it just too many toys or does it involve more than that? And to find out, I did in-depth interviews with many adults who identified themselves as having been overindulged as children. One of the interesting things thing about the adult about the interviews is that when I finished, in each interview at the close, I said, what is your definition of overindulgence? And they said, you have to include, and then they would point right at my heart or my head. And so I can't leave something out when somebody who's been there and who knows points at my heart or my head and says, keep this in. So it's a long definition, but just listen to it. Overindulging children is giving them too much of what looks good too soon and for too long. It is giving them things or experiences that are not appropriate for their age or their interests and talents. It is the process of giving things to children to meet the adult's needs, not the child's. Overindulgence is giving a disproportionate amount of family resources to one or more children in a way that appears to be meeting the children's needs but does not. So children experience scarcity in the midst of plenty. Overindulgence is doing or having so much of something that it does act of harm or at least prevents a person from developing and deprives that person of achieving his or her full potential. Overindulgence is a form of child neglect. It hinders children from performing their needed developmental tasks and from learning necessary life lessons. And of course parents would never do that if they understood what they were doing. No parents get up in the morning, I don't think, and say to each other, now honey, just to be sure the kids have difficulty in adult life, let's overindulge a lot today. This is not how it is. So the question is then, how do we know if a specific behavior is overindulging? And uh, Connie and I have developed the test of four, which is four questions that we can ask that will give us a clue about what we're doing. It isn't always easy to tell what's overindulging one child might not be for another, depending on their situation, age, temperament, etc. So we ask the four questions. And the first one is, if I give this or do this in this amount at this time, will it hinder my child from doing his or her developmental tasks at this age? The second one is, if I do or give this at this point in this time, will it use a disproportionate amount of the family's resources? And those resources are not just money, but they're space. You can't have a drum set. We don't have room enough for it. They are time. You cannot join one more sports activity because I am now spending all the time I have in the big blue bus. <clears throat> it is uh, psychic income. You cannot go to a spring vacation in Mexico without an adult in the group because number one, it's not safe, and number two, I would worry. The third thing that we look for is who, whose needs are being met. And one of the surprises to us as researchers was that all of our adults who responded to the question about whose needs were being met said it was for their needs, not mine. The parental needs, unmet needs, trying to be met through the child. 
You will go to hockey camp. I didn't get to play hockey. You will play. You will play well. And then the fourth question is, um, would giving or doing this thing at this time cause harm to someone else or the community, the environment? And if any of those four questions are answered with a yes, then we have to really look hard and see, is this an overindulging activity? And part of the challenge is to find that line between abundance and too much. Because abundance makes life better. Too much makes it worse. Remember, we live in a culture of overindulgence. Marketing, social customs, even the neighbors may be urging us to overindulge. And so, remembering that over parenting without indulgence is, is a counterculture activity. Go forth and do as little of it as possible.